In March 2015, on the second anniversary of his election as Supreme Pontiff, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, announced the celebration of an extraordinary holy year, a jubilee of mercy. With roots dating back to 1300, the church has a long tradition of celebrating holy years, which it sees as an opportunity to deepen one's faith and to live with a renewed commitment to Christian witness. This holy year, or Jubilee of Mercy, is centered upon the merciful God who invites all men and women to return to him, just like Jesus' invitation to the Samaritan woman in the gospel story, the story of the woman at the well, which is depicted here. Mercy is a theme very dear to Pope Francis. His Episcopal motto is miserando atque elegendo, or with the eyes of mercy, taken from the gospel passage, which tells the story of Jesus' invitation to Matthew, follow me. The Holy Father wants this year to be a time for Catholics to reflect on God's mercy and how they might share that mercy with others. And so the Pope invites each of us to spend more time practicing the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. The corporal works of mercy are these, feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, clothing the naked, visiting the sick, visiting the imprisoned, giving drink to the thirsty, and burying the dead. The spiritual works are these, converting sinners, instructing the ignorant, advising the doubtful, comforting the sorrow, bearing wrongs patiently, forgiving injuries, and praying for the living of the dead. You may find yourself, as I might, asking about our worthiness to perform such works. Let me assure you, each of us has the capacity first to share God's mercy in our lives and then to share God's mercy with others. We can do this as long as we have the Word of God and the grace of God in our hearts. After all, Pope Francis calls mercy the beating heart of the gospel. Consider that right here in the Archdiocese of Baltimore, these works of mercy are performed every day. These works of mercy are performed through the many programs of Catholic Charities and St. Vincent de Paul. Mercy is extended through our five Catholic hospitals and other Catholic healthcare centers. We encounter God's mercy through our 70 Catholic schools and especially through our 150 parishes with a vast array of ministries, all centered on the mercy of God. Behind each of these Catholic institutions are Catholic laity, deacons, priests, and religious who are eager to share God's love and mercy with those in need, whether that need is spiritual, material, emotional, or physical. And of course, nowhere can we share in more personally God's mercy and love than in the sacrament of reconciliation or penance. I invite you to participate regularly in the sacrament and to consider your involvement in one of the many ministries or programs that shares and proclaims God's mercy with others. And I pray that this holy year of mercy will be one of great blessing for you and for all God's people in this Archdiocese of Baltimore.